Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Maggi Diaries. My name is Ohunene Muslimat Etidaye. I'm a Maggi influencer representing Kogi State. Outside Ramadan, before and after, I already have this habit of waking up the normal sahu time, 4 a.m., 3.30 a.m. and all of that. So yes, in Ramadan, I get more serious with it. I know that yeah, this I can't miss it for anything. So I set my alarm and it helps me. I, I, I wake up on it just straight up. We never miss it. I never miss it. What meal do I think is best for sahur? Well, as much as these things vary with um, different systems of different human beings, we still have what should trend, like the normal, you know, uh, advised meals as regards nutrition, how heavy it is and all. So in my opinion, meals that, you know, will help you retain what a system like rice, banana and some other, you know, light carbs in very normal proportion, not excessively. So you don't get too heavy because it makes you tired and then it, it wears you out before you even get to the middle of the day. So yes, carbohydrate that will help you retain water in your system in a very good and appropriate proportion is appropriate for sahur. What I like to eat personally for sahur, very little rice most of the time and then I could add a cup of tea and that's fine by me. It takes me through the day and I'm good no matter what I do that day. This is a calabash, yes. You must call it igba, it's just... Now I'm thinking what could possibly be the meal in here? I can't think of anything right now, okay, except on, until I taste it. What kind of kunu is this? It's very tasty, very nice. I have to continue for a while, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get the answer. Okay. Kunu? Yes, this is kunu, but kunu what? I honestly do not know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what kind of kunu it is, but it's kunu, right? So yeah, five over ten. What? I still don't know what this is. I'm sorry, I can't lie. Wait, oh, uh -uh. these are ice cubes now. Watermelon. I was supposed to be embarrassed, but hey, it's fine. It's, it's just tasted really nice. It was just kunu for me, so yeah. Kunu fruits, everybody understands. So yeah, it's okay. Let me taste it again. Ah, this is new. This is strangely exciting. I, I love it. Thank you for watching my diaries. Asalaamu Alaikum. Yes, you got your smoothie in a korea in the calabash. So today we're going to be making a watermelon and African star fruit smoothie. Smooth and kankana, the kuma agualuma. Who does not love agualuma? Like it's been a childhood favorite. Like every child loves agualuma. So what we're going to do is just to blend everything all together and add the lemon wedges. We've cut them into um, slices and some rosemary, the kuma trust, the zanya garnish in, in a watermelon and Agualuma smoothie dinner. So let's get down to it. So 
So there you have it guys, my Kankana and Agualuma smoothie, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But how do you get creative with your smoothies during Ramadan? Tag us on Maggie underscore Nigeria on Instagram or Maggie Nigeria on Facebook. This is a refreshing and hydrating drink that you can have after Budibaki, Pokemon when you have guests around. So join me tomorrow for another very interesting episode of Maggie Diaries where I bring another exceptional woman. Remember to follow us on our social media platforms at Maggie underscore Nigeria on Instagram and at Maggie Nigeria on Facebook. Assalamu alaikum. Them say different kind chicken gets different tastes. As chicken take past chicken, Maggie signature chicken flavor. They give food better taste, color, aroma. So what are for jollof or stew? Make una enjoy Maggie signature chicken flavor. With them take correct ingredients make. It day for powder cube and tablet for that great chicken taste. Use Maggie Signature Chicken for that great chicken flavor. With Maggie, cook the difference.